Guys, I have actually arrived at main stage. At the time of this recording, I've actually arrived at main stage. Panda Global has officially released an announcement regarding their role and everything that's transpired with the Smash World Tour in regards to the, the open letter or response Nintendo posted yesterday that we covered about IGN. And honestly, a lot of people are saying that this statement is as bad as my lighting right now, okay? Just terrible. You know, this is the third video and what's what's become a bit of a, a saga right now and likely will be plenty more. Much like Fast and the Furious, we don't stop at three. We're just going to keep going and going and going because this situation just continues to snowball. Wondering what I'm talking about? Well, let's go ahead and switch over to Panda's Twitter account where they've issued this official statement. First thing to note, my friends, is it's never a good sign when you have 3,000 retweets over 2300 comments and under 2000 likes and the majority of those retweets they're actually quote tweets <laughs> they're actually quote tweets so that can tell you right there that this is not exactly being received too well it basically i'm not going to read the whole thing it basically opens up with them reminding everybody about how much hard work has gone into you know kind of making this actually take place right this panda cup and there's a lot of people that are working hard behind the scenes and i don't um, I don't dis, you know what I'm saying? I don't diss them for that at all. I acknowledge it fully. There's a lot of hardworking people behind this and a lot of people being affected by this whole situation that really don't deserve it. But the facts remain the same. This statement that they put out, a lot of people are saying it's a lot of PR fluff and in a way it is. Now it does kind of corroborate what Nintendo was saying yesterday in their statement that the fact and they're reiterating, hey, we're just here to help make the Smash community a better place. And there was no we were not forcing the Smash World Tour to cancel. So that that right there, huge contradiction between what we've seen announced from the Smash World Tour and VG Bootcamp, in contradiction to what you know Nintendo and now Panda is, is officially saying here. It also does acknowledge the fact that Dr. Allen, the CEO of Panda, was in the wrong with how he handled some tournament events, mainly citing the beginning of the year. And since then, they kind of had like a corrective talk with him about how to approach things. You know, the, the biggest thing here really is the fact like, yeah, the BTS statement that came out is undoubtedly true. And we've seen a couple people on Twitter, like other TOs kind of cooperate. Like, yeah, this is actually like the case and stuff like that. They end with saying Panda Cup team has invested thousands of hours towards making sure this year's cup has been as strong of an offering as we can provide. We look forward to continue to build alongside communities. We serve a promising future for Smash. So again, you can kind of read the whole thing yourself and, and you know form your own opinion. But really for me, the reason I didn't read it word for word here is because it, you know it, I kind of felt like you know two and a half days for this, not the best response. You know, as I said, and it's it's not being met with a lot of positive things from the community. Let's go ahead and take a look at some prominent figures who have actually responded. Hungry Box himself, who was a little um, a little silent day one, but then had a stream he had IBDW call in, and they were very vocal about how they just don't approve of anything taking place, as rightfully so they should be. He says, point blank, I won't be attending Panda Cup. Too little and way too late in regards to that. So Hungry Box officially not attending the Panda Cup. MK Leo, ghost emoji or dead emoji. Uh, you can you can interpret that or you can just scroll down to his follow-up, not attending main stage. So this means I'll see you next year. He is saying I will not be attending Panda Cup. Obviously he made a tweet that said that Smash World Tour was the one event he really wanted to compete in. That's been canceled. He's not gonna support Panda Cup. No, the best player in the world will not be in attendance. That is a big deal. But there is something else that came out of this. Perhaps to nobody's surprise, Ludwig has announced in light of the Panda Nintendo's lackluster response, I'm happy to announce the Scuffed World Tour, a one-day Melee slash Ultimate event, Sunday the 18th of obviously December, featuring eight of the highest placing Smash World Tour competitors along with a goal to raise money for VG Boot Camp. Now notice the date of this event, Sunday the 18th. What other date is that? Oh, that is the date or is supposed to be the final date of the Panda Cup finale. Okay, he is saying, I'm gonna host the Scuff World Tour, go right in the same time slot, the same day as you guys, and I think my event's gonna blow you out of the water just given the community support that I believe I'm gonna get and the backlash you're gonna get. He goes on to say that these are the eight I will invite from each game. Obviously, like this is based off, I believe, what's going to be like the Smash World Tour points initially, and he's gonna provide a $50,000 toll price. Now, this is the guy who's already having a chess boxing match next weekend and he went on for like an hour, sold those tickets for like an hour to kind of benefit anybody who might have been affected from the Smash World Tour. So he's just going and just shilling out all kinds of money, okay? Ludwig really is a man of the people. But I do have to say this, 
because I truly feel like this may be the case. And this is very important to note. There is a chance that this could just be a cease and desist bait. Like Lloyd is a very intelligent and shrewd business operator along with the entirety of his team. What if he's doing this to see if he can bait Nintendo into seeing Dean? Because you have to imagine this would almost be like the, the perfect bait, right? I, I'm a huge content creator. Obviously that invitational he did, which I was a part of a, like a month or so ago. Thanks for having me, it was amazing. Did huge numbers on YouTube. What if he's saying, you know what? If I'm gonna run against you, you're gonna have no choice but to see the, imagine the content you get out of that alone. This, listen, I call myself Ludnick for a reason, okay? I feel like I can see the vision too. I can't always execute on it, but I feel like I can see the vision too. I truly believe this could be a CND bait. If it's not, I mean, that's awesome too. If the event goes off without a hitch, I'm sure a lot of players affected by the Smash World Tour would certainly appreciate that. But nevertheless, again, it continues to leave so much in the air. A big thing that has been referenced a lot is like kind of the health and safety protocols uh, that are kind of like shrouded in mystery behind a lot of these statements coming out. So let's go ahead and switch back over to Twitter. Take a look at what Aiden had to say. Aiden is somebody who's being incredibly well informed about a lot of these issues and has been very vocal. We certainly do appreciate that. I have received info that Lost Tech City, a Totem Panda Cup event, requested Nintendo directly to use the Smash World Tour health and safety guidelines received no pushback and was granted a license. Smash World Tour has to play by a different set of rules, question mark, weird of Nintendo to double down given that. That is actually insane. It's my understanding that internally Nintendo did care a lot about the health policies, specifically, specifically as related to COVID, but doesn't explain the disparity in enforcement. Feels like they are latching onto health and safety as an excuse for reasons they don't like the Smash World Tour. And this is something that people have kind of pointed out, right? So it's not really a surprise uh, that this is continuing to be one of the major pushback issues among a lot of people, Aiden included. Overall, it's again, it continues to just give us more questions and answers in the grand scheme of things. I truly do believe that maybe the Smash World Tour could have gone on, but because of like the kind of the phrasing and like the nudging of like, you know, how they felt everything would shape up. I mean, again, you know, if you're being told flat out like, hey, we're not gonna grant you a license for this finale and we're not gonna grant you a license for any of the events coming up in 2023, it's almost like maybe VG and the people involved were like, well, we gotta cut bait and just cut our losses and see what's gonna happen from here. You know, this is the best course of action, which I wouldn't blame them for, but no one's outright said that, right? We're still kind of in the dark and, and on exactly what transpired. A lot of these things saying, oh, they were verbally communicated, so there wouldn't be a paper trail. It's just, it's just insane how this continues to just get worse and worse. Now, now, granted we understand like at, at some point you have to kind of assume somebody's lying here right like you know what i'm saying and it's it doesn't feel like it, it's on the side of the world tour right and i and i have friends at nintendo i have friends at panda i'm not trying to you know i'm not trying to light a fire here i'm just saying like we obviously know we're not getting the full story and maybe the circumstances right now don't necessarily matter matter but the impact it'll have on the future going forward we're in december right now you know, Smash for 2023 was looking very promising up until this point, up until this dumpster fire that's ignited over the last couple of days. It's insane that I actually find myself having consistent YouTube videos to make, and it's on the wrong kind of shit. I don't wanna, you know what I mean? Like, but it must be talked about, it must be covered because, you know, as a member of this community, like we all are, it's, it's something we all have to keep an eye on for. So just another piece to the puzzle in a very developing story. I don't know what's to come next, but I'm eager for your thoughts, comments, and replies in the comments. As per usual, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and I will see you hopefully for a more positive follow-up video on the next one, but we shall see. Catch you later, guys.